Hi, uh, this is Kerry Rayburn with Walking on the Boulevard, and I'm live with Franz Govarts uh, here at Sheffield Remembers 2016. Franz, thanks a lot for joining me. You're welcome. Uh, I haven't seen you since, in a, it's been about a month since you know, the last time we were in together in Memphis. What have you been up to since then? Uh, at home. No, no I'm just kidding. Uh, no, uh, we went to a different place. We, we work um, in Maryland, Pennsylvania, you know, still around. I was in Belgium, Europe, for uh, something like two weeks ago already. Uh, we do a really good weekend over there. So my family and all my friends and all the Elvis fan. So we try to, you know, traveling, do what we have to do and what we can do. You've been in the United States now since June, I believe. Uh, what's it like going back home? Do you feel homesick the whole time you're here and then you get off the bus, you a plane, whatever you ride, and you're like, yes, I'm back. What's it like? <laughs> now, in fact, when I arrived at the airport, it was, you know, some people over there who, who can't wait to see me. And it's always funny to go back over there. I always said that if I want to stay where the people recognize me and where the people are owning in the street when they saw me or at the gay station, you know, just people who are, hey, are you the guy, the Elvis? And, you know, if I want to stay over there just because of that, uh, I really like it, but it's not my goal. My goal is to performing and singing for the people, first of all, who understand what I sing. I told you that already. And, uh, but yeah, it was a real pleasure to be back and everybody was enjoying it. We have a really good show on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday was a private show. And um, I'm recording um, over here, my family, uh, where I live, my area. And, uh, and, uh, and so I, the, the video was on, on, on the screen, um, on, the screen um, on Sunday and everybody was enjoying it. My kids talked to them, uh, so it was pretty cool. And I can't wait to do it again. Next time will be probably in March or something, 2017. But I was really enjoying it. It was freezing over there, really cold. And um, so I'll seek uh, on the next Monday. When I came back, I was sick. So now I'm feeling better. But the weather is com was completely different. It was raining a lot over there and freezing, really cold. Yeah, it's got to be a real, a real sh a shock to your system when you're here and it's like, <laughs> you yeah, there and it's like you move yeah. Back. And for your voice, because when you fall sick, of course, it's pretty hard to do a. A good show. Well, back in February when we were um, working Sorry. in Maryland, when, when I came up there, uh, we, we talked about an event that I do every November and how cool it would be if we could figure out a way to get you to Sheffield. Yeah. Well, here we are in November yeah. and you're yeah. at Sheffield Remembers. Tell me about how it came to happen. How did you get to where you were able to come to Sheffield? I, I have a talk with uh, Danny McCurkle and his wife, Lena, and um, we was talking together and uh, he said to me, yeah, you have to, yeah, you talk you, Carrick, talked to me about it already, but when Danny asked me to come over here, try, try to come, I was really enjoy it because you're right, since I move over here uh, in the United States, I can fly or drive somewhere and meet the Elvis fan, not only in Memphis anymore. And to talk about Sheffield, yesterday was a good evening over here. Um, it's like a, op how you say that, welcome, Open. opening, yeah. and. Um, and so it was, it, it was many people, it was good, and uh, I really enjoy it. It's completely different. In Memphis, Tennessee, for the Elvis week, it's like if everybody are um, nervous, you know, worry, or busy. It's a, it's a really, um, it's a really um, different, uh, how you say that, uh, atmosphere. It's a different way to be, and um, over there, for, for, they know me for 20 years, so over there they, they, they recognize me as Elvis Jr. most of the time. And, um, and over here it's, it's more like France, you know, and, uh, the guy you sing Elvis but without any jumpsuit or something. So I really like that and uh, the people was really friendly and I really enjoy it. Probably more enjoy it here than in Memphis. It's hard to say and the people could be um, you know, shocked about what I say, but that's the truth. When you are on my sidewalk, and if you are not only in Memphis, Tennessee for a vacation, holiday, or having fun with friends, drinking, uh, you're nervous. You're nervous <clears throat> because you are right in the on, right in the middle of Elvis's place, and so the people are are different. Over here, it was pretty quiet, and I really enjoy it. Really. Last thing, I know we got to go because we got other entertainers in there. Um, I heard, I don't know if, if we could talk about this or not, but I heard you're working on a new album. Um, what can you tell me about it and when can we expect it? This is the last question. 
I'm, I'm working on, uh, yeah, it's going to be a new album. So, you know, we start something with uh, the people I'm working with, Darlene, um, uh, in, in Maryland. And so she, um, the, the, the stage name, if I may say that, the voice, <clears throat> the voice of France, today's tired, the voice of France. Um, and so I decided to sing songs that uh, Elvis didn't sing, but it's always a connection. It's like when I sing um, Walking in Memphis, of course, for years and years. Uh, when I sing It's Your Song, the lyrics are directly for Elvis. Uh, I Will Always Love You was one of Elvis's favorite songs. Uh, Elvis used to listening a beautiful song. It's not a lot of Elvis fans who, who know that, but Elvis used to listening the song Feelings. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. And so I decided to do my own version of it. Um, I've got a new song called, but uh, well, you know that song, uh, God Bless the USA, because um, I'm proud to be in America. So I decided to sing that song. Um, I've got some other one. It's, I also have some surprise. I have a beautiful song um, from uh, Mr. Tom Jones, uh, I Who Have Nothing. And um, yeah, I love that kind of song. It's really powerful. It's really unusual for me to sing something else than Elvis' style. But I, I understand that some people really enjoy it, my work or my way to sing, uh, even if it's not Elvis. So I just, I moved here in the United States to, to, to still trying to do something different, if I may say that. We are many really good singers over here in Sheffield, in Memphis, all over the world. So I just try to do something and we'll see what's going to happen. But yeah, the next album will be, if I may say, completely different. Awesome. Well, Franz, thanks a lot for joining me thank here. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Follow Franz online and check out Walking on the Boulevard. Thanks to the five of you. <laughs> okay.